Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series of video clips about the dot 2. My name is Michael Quincy Stratman. I'm from Tech Support at MA and yeah, we started a little series about storing. Storing is not boring. This is the third clip. In the first clip we showed you how the preset filter works. In the second clip Lars showed you how not to store things. So for example, you have pan tilt and you don't want to store the pan. That was the second clip. And the third clip is I wanted to, or is about selective storing. So how do you work when you normally work with moving lights or with lights? You select your lights and maybe you know already which ones you need. We put the dimmer to open and well, maybe the center position. A gobo can't be bad. Put a gobo in and my fat red. Nice, they are red. Mm, they look a little bit weak, so we put the zoom a little bit more to narrow. What would I store in a queue now? If I go to the fixture sheet, I can see in the fixture sheet sheet style exactly what I've touched. Well, if you don't want to store what you have touched, in presets it's easy. You simply go to position and it filters it out for you, but in cues it doesn't. So there's a lot of red inside and let's say you don't want the color. How do I get rid of the color? The easiest is to off it. Off color. select my lights again I said off me the color like this so the color is out but this has changed the look on stage but this is the first way how to get rid of values once again I have if I press store it goes to store only look and you see the color is off stage and I've off the color so the red bar is gone here. By this bar it indicates you no matter in what window you are, in what view, it indicates what you have touched. Like I said, there are moments where you don't want to store in a queue everything that you've touched. So off color, that throws us off the stage. Brutal way. I oops myself back. Oops, there's the color and... If I press store now, my fat red is back in and it's storable. It is storable. I can see that on the red background and the red letters in it. That means the red letters, this is a hand given value. This comes from my programmer, from my hand given things. And the red in the background means it's storable. So I've oops myself back here. I am again with Gobo and a lot of things inside. A nicer way to get rid of color if you want to maybe like it on stage if you do that during a performance you can't say off then it is brutal change on, on stage how do I get rid of I double click on color 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 you see the bar goes away this looks like this so all features of color are switched off now. The values are still on stage, that's why they are red, but the red background has changed. That means these values are not storable anymore. And if I go to store now, you see I have dimmer pan tilt and then the gobos, that means the color is still on stage, but I wouldn't store it anymore. That was a very short lesson for today, but that's it, what I want to tell you. And like this, you can, of course, say, whoa, no, I don't want to focus. Or, like I said, two ways off them, off this one, or double click. And it takes it out, but leaves it on stage. That was the tips and tricks for today. A little hint about selective storing. Like this, your output doesn't change, but your store matrix changes. That's it for today. Take care, folks. This was the third clip of our little series about storing is not boring. We will go on with it. Happy programming. Bye-bye.